Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto. Just going to show you a, a little troubleshooting video today, which is basically if you want to update the CarPlay or the Android Auto app on your system. Um, now, these can only be done really pretty much by us sending you the updated version by the means of an attachment or a, a download link, which you would then download onto your PC. So, also, sometimes if the CarPlay is a little bit outdated and you, the more that you update your phone's firmware, um, the operating system, Sometimes the CarPlay may lag behind because, as I say, your phone's got new patch security patches on there, so you'll find that basically you might get a few connection issues later on down the line, maybe a year or two down the line. So this is what we obviously tend to do. I'm just going to show you a protocol how to get the new updated app onto your system. Um, we would take the version number previously of the app that you've got and then obviously check to see if there's any new versions when we send it over to you by email. It'll probably be in the form of a download link or an attachment. You would download that onto your PC. Uh, simply put it to a USB pen or an SD card. USB pens are always best. So for the purpose of the video, I've already done it. I've got it on a USB pen. I've got it plugged into the back of the system. And what you need to do is go over to the File Manager app. But you might not have that on your system. It might be called DS Browser. Uh, obviously, go into there. And then down here, we'll show you the USB pen. If Let me just check to see for one second. So sometimes on your uh, file manager app, you might have a load of different stuff down here. You just scroll down it until you come to the USB option in here. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's that one there. So what you then would do is all the files that are on your USB pen, you'd select the APK, which you've already sent to you. Select it, double-click it. It will install onto the device. But prior to that, which I forgot to mention, delete the old app before you do it. And then once it's on there, now some systems it does need... Uh, activation on the uh, Z-Link, T-Link apps, and you do that by the means of an online server. So once you've got the new app onto the system, what you would then do is connect your phone or your SIM card where applicable, get an internet connection. You would then connect to your mobile phone or SIM card or if, if, if it's done. Once it's connected, you would then go over to the system, go to the new app, which is the new T-Link, Z-Link app or whichever one we've sent you, go to it, press it, it will basically activate on an online server. Once it's activated after about 10 seconds, come back out. Disconnect your phone, switch off the hotspot settings, and then you go back to your, uh, go back to your Bluetooth and do a new connection with your phone. And then once that's done, then go back onto your Z-Link, T-Link app and then start it up and it should start straight away. Okay, hope this helps.